All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down here at Frankie's True Range Meat because I have not been abducted by a Russian princess yet and taken to her palace. So you guys have me for at least another week uh, as of right now. <laughs> hey, at least it's really, really nice outside. Can you guys see? Uh, maybe you can't. Beautiful, clear, sunny day. Probably the first day that it hasn't rained out here in Pennsylvania in about three years now. I forgot my camera again, so it's definitely one of those days. <laughs> my brain's definitely not working. Uh, so we'll walk around a bit, show you guys what's up. Uh, not too much new stuff today on the meat website, or well, this week on the meat website, but we do have some new products. And uh, I got a few things to show you, mainly on the foods website. So my guys are actually here packing up eggs on Sunday because uh, we ran out of the styrofoam. So you guys are going to get the, the bubble wrapped eggs probably for a week or two until we can get the styrofoam back. All the bars are in stock on the foods website, but we have an entirely new bar, organic rice crispy treats. Uh, these are the ones that we made with uh, nut butter, walnut and hazelnut. And then we also have one that's made with regular dairy butter that is available on the website now. Uh, I can show you guys those. They're just not wrapped up yet. Yeah, these are the uh, regular Rice Krispie Treats. It's really just organic white rice, butter, and honey. These smell so good. It's insane. These smell so good. And that means we also have the grains available for sale on the website. So these 10-ounce bags of puffed rice are $7. So when you see $7 for 10 ounces of puffed rice, you're like, oh, well, that's expensive. But this is probably like two or three boxes of cereal worth of puffed rice. So it's actually cheaper than the organic cereals at Whole Foods in the supermarket. So we got that puffed rice for you guys. We have the puffed quinoa. We have the puffed soft white wheat. And then we have some popcorn. So when you guys are paying, you know, $6 for a bag of popcorn, it's, it's a lot of popcorn. And it's the highest quality, minimally inflammatory organic grains. Uh, the reason we did wheat is because it's a lot cheaper. It's a lot more affordable. Uh, we use quinoa in some of our bar recipes, and I'm excited to have the white rice. Because the reason we switched over to making like a quinoa crisp bar, and the reason we moved away from rice initially was because the only puffed rice on the market was brown rice. But now since we're making our own puffed white rice, I'm happy to offer you guys the Rice crispy Treats because again, white rice is much lower in arsenic than brown rice to the point where products made with brown rice and brown rice syrup, I would never eat them. Uh, so we got the Rice Krispie Treats made with the organic puffed white rice. We got the puffed grains itself available on frankiestrangefoods.com. And moving forward, we're buying in bulk more now. So that price right now is only going to be for this week or two. And then the next time we restock them, they're going to be cheaper. And then if you guys buy a lot of them, maybe I can look into sourcing a pallet, but maybe not. It's already about as cheap as it can get. And I'm going to see if the Amish farmer can go cheaper because he's he's charging me way too much per pound to, to puff them anyway. Oregon supplements, guys, we have pretty much everything. Collagen, lemon light, flextrose, whey protein. Uh, the most recent new products are the zinc complex. We got a magnesium complex, multi-mineral, multivitamin. Maybe I'll, I'll talk more about that stuff this week in some shorts. Uh, restock the vitamin K2 restock the vitamin d3 so we have pretty much everything all the glandulars are available at the lowest price online i take these every day guys the male virility full spectrum we got adrenal big brain third eye i probably take about half of these every single day to feel better the uh, frankie's naturals new products are here too we got the marrow cream moisturizer over here is the deodorant i still wish i could show you guys that other logo i made without getting canceled <laughs> Uh, and then we got the remineralizing tooth powder. Uh, we might have another new product in later this week, but uh, maybe not for another week or two. Well, there was a quality control issue with some of the beef tallow, so we did issue some refunds. So if you guys got the beef tallow, especially the large jars, and you weren't happy with it, uh, everything has been checked and reconciled. So just reach out to us for a refund, and then moving forward, we're making sure that nothing happens. So all the kitchen equipment is finally set up and ready. Thankfully, uh, everything works, not too many issues. Uh, it did cost a lot more to get this stuff installed. I think it actually cost as much to install it as I paid for it. Because I got a really good price on all of this equipment. 
you know, like this is 25,000 new. I paid like, I think it's more than that new. I paid like 2,000. These burners, I didn't get that great of a deal on. I think I paid like, I don't even remember what I paid for these, but they're not that expensive new. So that wasn't that much of a deal. This, I think I paid three or 4,000 for, but brand new, like just look up the price, like growing 60 gallon steam kettle, you might have a heart attack. Uh, same with this. I think this grinder was like, this grinder is very, very expensive new, but we got excellent, excellent prices. Unfortunately, even even the hood and the fan outside, paid it for dirt cheap, but you know, j just hanging the hood, the sheet metal, and there's this like huge, uh, uh, what's it called like food service compliant exhaust fan on the roof of the building just the install for that three or four thousand um, you know we had to run we had to run a big gas line from the meter we had to put all the steel up on the wall you know it was, it was over ten thousand to have all the gas line all the three-phase electric ran uh, all this stuff done I mean they were here for you know they were here for probably 10 or 15 days I don't even know. They, they, they did a lot of work, so it costs a lot more to install than I thought it would, but uh, now we can make stuff and not lose money burning or ruining it. Because although that is way too much money, I probably spent that amount on refunding soup and, well, not really refunding soup, but like we, we messed up a few batches of soup because we didn't have the right temperature and stuff. So now moving forward, we're going to have higher quality stuff too because I can really caramelize and get really good color on vegetables and stuff. And one reason my brain is extra fried today is because I was standing in front of that tilt skillet for a few hours making our steak sauce, which is absolutely delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, this is gonna be ready this week. So I'm, I'm excited to, to offer Frankie steak sauce. I'll show you guys the label and the marketing for it when it comes in. But you guys are watching this video on Monday. This steak sauce should be for sale by Wednesday or Thursday of this week. So we'll, we'll feature it in the next vlog. We might not have the labels ready, but we'll just sell it with um, just a generic label on it until we get the good labels. This is basically uh, mushroom, onion, coconut aminos, a little bit of French cooking technique using broth and stock and uh, some white wine but it is it is so amazing and delicious guys uh, I gotta not bring any home because I will eat two pounds of steak and not sleep for three days probably eat three pounds of steak but I'm really really excited for this it's gonna we we caramelize the vegetables we spent a lot of time making sure everything had a lot of flavor and now we're letting it kind of sit in the fridge to macerate and let those flavors melt and then we're gonna filter it and strain it so it's a nice smooth consistency sauce and then and then bottle it up for you guys this is probably the highest quality sauce anyone will ever sell online because no one's crazy enough to do that and i'll talk about it more next week but it's, it's also like super super duper nutritious it's basically like concentrated beef stock and organic vegetables so it's probably really really high in protein amino acids and minerals uh, a bit of an understatement actually well, let me show you guys what else is going on in the fridge this week. So Sunday, we got all the dairy ready to ship out. Milk, kefir, sheep milk. I think we ran out of sheep kefir. Uh, dairy, dairy delivery was a little low in stock this week, but we have everything like heavy cream, sour cream for the most part. Uh, we got some more unsalted cheese if you guys want it. I think these are just all the pickled vegetables we have. I tried the jardiniera, it's delicious, I like it. We have the sauerkraut, we have the dill pickles, everything's pretty good. Uh, kind of limited amount of grape water kefir if you guys do want water kefir. No, we were double checking all the pickles to make sure they were good, so. All, all the dill pickles and everything, delicious, nice and crispy. We did not get any fresh meat in this week, but we do have fresh blood. So if you guys want blood, it's available on the website. Reduced price to $8 a jar. Um, and I think there's some that's in the freezer too that will be a uh, even lower price. But I don't know, if you guys don't buy this, we'll probably stop doing it. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, that guy had to run the gas line, new water line from the service too. And we also had to run new electric box over here. I mean, I don't even want to think about what they would have charged me to do this in New York, but we got new electric, more three phase lines if we need any equipment too. So we'll take a quick look in the freezer. I don't think, uh, 
Got too much new stuff. Just some eye round rows. All the steaks are restocked. New York strip steaks. We got some four pound chucks here. Beef ribeye steaks. Uh, what we don't usually have, we got some prime ribeye here. So we, we selected the ribeyes that had pretty good marbling on them. Like, I mean, this one, <laughs> this steak should probably be double the price. Uh, some, some of these have a, a lot, a lot of marbling on them. And some of them just have like, you know, like standard prime marbling. So, the, so there are some variants with these, but the prime ribeyes are in stock, at least a few of them. We finally got the liverwurst back. Uh, so liverwurst, it is not, it is not $28.50 a pound, guys. Uh, the liverwurst is $10 a pound on the website. Still got a decent amount of the pork share available. This is uh, flat iron steaks, with bed steaks. We're still sold out of chicken. We do have whole ducks, but the chicken should be back this week. We should have chicken on Friday, guys. So if you guys have been waiting for corn and soy-free chicken, we'll have it this week. Plenty of uh, bone and steaks, porterhouse, bone and ribeye. This is the uh, this is the cheaper blood. So once we put it in the freezer, it's half the price. This is one of the the more recent ice cream flavors. Cookie dough ice cream. I didn't get too many reviews for this, so let me know how you guys like this if we we're gonna do it again. We got a lot of egg whites, very cheap on the website. This is the maple pecan ice cream. This is delicious, guys. Really, really expensive, high quality maple and pecan went into that. Uh, they made a lot of strawberry ice cream for us last week. I think we got like a few hundred, so plenty of strawberry ice cream in here. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so mostly restocks this week. We've had a lot of new products over uh, the past few weeks, so be sure to check out the website, guys, if you just want to peruse around. So, new stuff this week specifically, again, on the Foods website, we got the Rice Krispies and the Puffed Grains, and we have, uh, we're going to have the steak sauce technically this week as a brand new product on Frankie Syrian's meat. So, since I forgot my camera... Um, I can't read the reviews on my phone, so I'm going to have to log into my emails on my computer here and read the reviews I sent myself. And we got, I, I forgot to say at the beginning, but, um, you know, we're, we're still dealing with uh, just regular harassment from what I'll refer to as corporate chills. However, that is not the correct term. If I name them, this video would be taken down. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with the uh, the ridiculous emails. So this one guy placed an order, sent me an email to cancel it. So I canceled it, and then he started emailing me about, oh, when am I gonna get my refund? When am I gonna get my refund? And it took me more than a day to respond. So April third, Frank, I'm not getting any response on where my refund is. I just wanted to edit my order and add more items. If you aren't going to send the money back, just send the meat. And then the next day he goes, Frank, I've reported this to the Better Business Bureau. Good luck. You know what I have to say about the Better Business Bureau? I got something for you guys. <laughs> That's all I have to say about the Better Business Bureau. If, if any, if I hope someone one day from that organization shows up to my business because I will literally pull it out and slap them with it. The, it's, I should do a whole video on how it's, it's like, it, I'm, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, although I've, had, I've never looked into it, I'm assuming the Better Business Bureau is a privately owned company that like, like basically asks for memberships and gets people to pay them to, to do good reviews. It's like, it's like if I opened, if I opened my own company, like Frankie hates all other businesses and just like, that was the name of it and just started blackmailing people saying, oh, I'm going to talk crap about your business. I won't get too much into that, but it's. It's just silly. Like it, the, the whole the whole scenarios that I'm dealing with these people are just ridiculous. What was even what was just as crazy? This lady ordered pemmican on the foods website and then emailed me convinced that she did not receive the pemmican that she received cookies. So she says, 
Hi, Frankie. I ordered 10 blueberry pemmican, but when I opened one, I noticed it was some sort of cookie. The rest are cookies as well. I can't eat these due to my autoimmune issues. Would it be possible to get these replaced with 10 blueberry pemmican attached to her images? And then she sends me pictures of the pemmican. So I go, that is pemmican. And then she goes, I've ordered the blueberry pemmican several times now. This is not pemmican. It smells and tastes like chocolate chip... She didn't. That was her first order. It smells and tastes like chocolate chip cookies. I see that you have cookie bars on your website. These appear to be that. I spent a lot of money. Can you please send pemmican? I'm going to have to request a refund, otherwise I will go to my bank. I'm honestly pretty surprised right now. I've been a long-time fan of your channel and have purchased lots of product from you over the... This is, this is a tactic these shills use. They say, oh, I'm a huge fan. I've purchased a lot of product from you. But when I go to actually check their customer profile, it's their first order. So then I sent her another email. Our cookies look nothing like that. You received the correct product as stated in the prior email. The bar you received specifically has congealed fat on the outside, which is beef tallow. That is not contained in our cookies, only in the pemmican. You can also see the chunks of blueberries in it. It's just, com this, it's just funny. This lady is now, was, is now leaving negative reviews because she doesn't believe that the pemmican I sent her. It's just like, a, it's a crazy. I think I'm getting trolled, to be honest. Then she said, Wow, Frankie, I'm honestly surprised. I didn't take you for a con man. You've been complaining about chargebacks, but now I'm guessing those customers <laughs> rightfully charged back because you cheated them somehow. <laughs> Attach your new pictures of your cookie bar bricks. <laughs> I'm not stupid, and I will no longer be purchasing anything from your company or recommending you. I've spent thousands so far. No, she did. I'm pretty sure I checked her profile. I've spent thousands so far on your products, but I will happily go elsewhere. Trust broken. You know stealing and lying are sins, right? You need to repent for the good of your soul and your customers. <laughs> this isn't right, Frankie. But thank you for showing me and others your real colors. <laughs> Holy fuck, these morons are trying to gaslight me. This is hilarious, dude. This is the... I, I, I've been laughing so hard. Oh, oh, dude, hold on. There was another one. Hold on. There was another one that was even worse. This guy... All right, so I, I was in the wrong on this one. My, I don't know what happened. My guys accidentally sent him, like, uh, a one-pound container of chicken thighs instead of chicken skins, which actually costs more than chicken skins. And so he says, WTF, this is pieces of chicken meat, not skin. This is garbage, dude. What disappointing BS. So I emailed him back. That doesn't look like the correct product. Can you please send another photo? Um, and then he sent me another photo. So, I, so it was incorrect. So I issued him a refund. So I issued him a full refund for the, the wrong product instantly, and I apologized. And then, he, and then he goes, You're a fucking scammer, and you're too much of a fucking pussy to admit when you're wrong, people, but that's okay. Karma's a bitch because I'm not gonna... <laughs> Karma's a bitch because I'm gonna let everybody know how shitty your fucking business is, and we're gonna spread the word and boycott your bitch ass. <laughs> and then I go... A refund was issued and should be reflected in your bank account in several business days. <laughs> and then he goes, It's not even about the money. You can't even fucking take responsibility. All you do is talk shit online and everybody, yet you emit the same energy. Take that $11. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me, I, I can't say this without laughing. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Take that $11 and fix your fucking eyeballs. Or maybe you can go and correct your years of horrible acne. You're a fucking joke. <laughs> dude, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude, I have like... I have like 30 other reviews I'm supposed to read, so... Um... That's just a little glimmer of what I have to deal with. It's completely ridiculous how these people are trying to harass me. It's almost funny at this point. But... Outside of the ridiculous emails and harassment... Um... We did get a few more chargebacks this week. So I'm, you know, I'm getting between like $300 and $600 a week in chargebacks. So it, it really does help when you guys place a lot more orders and support me. And hopefully the, the goal is to try to stick this out until I'm making enough money that I can have a lawyer on retainer and just, and just payroll a lawyer and then and not have to deal with this. That's really the solution. You know, that's really the solution. And anytime someone does this stuff, I, they get immediately served with a lawsuit. Anyway, so now, now I'm gonna read. Um, now I'm gonna read the the good reviews. 
<laughs> so if you guys want to skip the reviews, I'll, I'll put some timestamps on the video, and you can just um, go go to go to the summary where we'll just review everything that's happened this week and what we're doing next week and stuff. So we got a five star review for the grass fed beef tallow. Great price, great clean taste. I regularly eat a lot of fat being on keto, diet called GAPS. I frequently just eat the fat off a spoon to make sure I get all. It doesn't just stick to the side of the pot I'm cooking in. So I can really tell the taste difference to the other tallow I've had. It has a super clean taste, not too beefy. It's very smooth, not as waxy as some can be. Yeah, I'm trying with the quality control, guys. Five star review for the A2A2 raw cream. Very, very good. This is so good, I can eat it plain. I can't wait to have it with berries once berry season hits. Yeah, raw cream is one of my favorite things for sure. Oh, this was another. Uh, j so someone left another like they didn't leave bad reviews, but they sent me a, like an email. They they placed an order and then they wanted me to cancel it. But and, and it says it on the website FAQ page, guys, just make sure before you place an order that it's the correct address that you can receive it and that there's no issue. Because if you email me after placing the order that you want to cancel it, chances are I can't do it. Just logistically, if I have like over 100 orders in there, for me to go in there, to find your order, it's it's too much work. It costs me more. In my, it, I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. So just be careful when placing an order that you're, you're sure you want to place an order and that you put the correct address in. Basic stuff, but it happens. Uh, we got a five-star view for the chicken eggs. Best eggs. These are the best tasting eggs I've ever had. That is why I keep ordering them. Another view for the chicken eggs. Amazing eggs. These are the best tasting eggs. All arrived perfectly and they were packaged so they wouldn't break. We'll order more next time. So since we are uh, since we ran out of styrofoam and we're putting the eggs back in the plastic containers with bubble wrap this week, if you guys do want to order them just to save, uh, it might not be a bad idea to order them to save the plastic containers so that when we do go back to the styrofoam, you have some containers to uh, to, to put them in, but that's up to you. Then we got a five-star review for Frankie's Liver Detox Smoothie. Uh, this is the breakfast smoothie that I have that you guys saw on the day of eating last week. Five-star review. Excellent. A very nice, subtle pineapple flavor. Gave me a great boost for my workout today. Uh, one ship with DHL. Got here in just 48 hours, all the way across the world. Great to know you're getting a good load of calories, too. Great job, Frankie. Yeah, we have some We have some international customers on the non-meat businesses. We got, a five, again, an Oregon Supplements review. Five stars for the male virility. Great product. Uh, if you have gut issues, you may not experience the most benefit from glandular therapy. Improve your gut health and liver function before incorporating glandular. I mean, th these are powders, and if you take them on an empty stomach in the morning, it shouldn't really matter. And they're such small amounts, you should be fine. Oh, I should have read this. Uh, I should have read this with the, the funny stuff. So, so this is unrelated to the reviews, but someone left a comment on my YouTube. You've inspired me to get cross-eyed surgery and a Kramer hair transplant from my ass pubes. And I want to start a business where you don't turn a profit for five years. You demand, Frankie. You guys are, you guys are so supportive. It's spectacular. <laughs> but I want to start a business where you don't turn a profit for five years. You demand, Frankie. <laughs> lovely. Lovely. All right. We got another organ supplements review. Five stars for the Natural B Complex. Great supplement. This complex is awesome. My pee isn't yellow, which makes me think I'm getting maximum absorption, and I feel great. We'll definitely keep using it. Yeah. I mean, that's the reason I have organ supplements, guys. We Literally, 99% of other supplements on the market are um, are toxically high-dosed. Toxically high-dosed. So ours are safe, natural ratios, what occurs in food. Five-star view for the flank steak. Really tender, baby. Ordered one of these to try and to not disappoint. Really good cut of meat, very tender and juicy. Tastes way better than any organic grass-fed meat at Sprouts out here in California. Shipping was perfect and everything was rock solid. Frozen definitely will be buying this cut again on my next order. Thanks, love you. No. When I was out in California getting my eyes gouged out, um, the grass-fed beef out there was just so disgusting I was eating grain-fed beef. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, Five-star view for the pasture-raised egg whites. Tastes amazing. I personally didn't buy it for myself, rather a family member who loves only egg whites. I bought organic egg whites at the market and they truly taste nothing of this caliber, which is mainly why I don't do egg whites. They taste gross and resemble a rubber texture even if they are organic. So I'm pretty sure they are corn and soy fred, which is trash. 
Frankie's egg whites, though, might just make me an egg white lover. LOL, you can taste, you can definitely taste the difference in the quality and the texture is perfect. No rubbery texture. It thawed perfectly. The only issue was that the container was expanded, so when I thawed, it kind of leaked out in my fridge. No biggie, though. I'll just place it in a container to prevent that from, yeah, sometimes when the, the egg whites freeze, they expand a little bit. Overall, great product. 10 stars if I could, and the price is way below anyone else's, especially if they're corn so free. Yeah. We basically we don't sell a lot of egg whites, so I'm base I'm I'm actually selling them. I think I'm losing money selling them. Um because cause we get a lot of egg whites from the ice cream production. And people again don't really buy egg whites. So we're selling them for like four dollars and fifty cents, which is probably half the price of the supermarket. And those supermarket egg whites are, as she said, uh low quality and not corn and soy free, and they're also pasteurized. So they're not raw. Keep that in mind. These are raw egg whites. Five star beef for the grass-fed roast beef. My favorite, hands down, baby. When I buy this, I always buy about eight to ten, and boy, they never disappoint. Love the quality and price. F any other roast beef out there. I tried Applegate, and yeah, it was kind of a lot. No, Applegate is disgusting. But geez, you had to use the entire package for one sandwich. Frankie's feeds two at least for my preference. I personally cook it a little more with salt and throw it on some rosemary sourdough bread and put some dill garlic sauerkraut pure heaven thanks that sounds really good i gotta try that actually i gotta i gotta i wish i gotta open a bakery so i can have my own bread sourdough with uh the sauerkraut and roast beef that sounds really good i would eat that every day got a five-star review for the porterhouse t-bone steak the porterhouse steak was absolutely delicious it was so tender and juicy i will definitely order again thank you for this amazing steak and i bet you it's like Less than 75% of the price of everywhere else online. Five-star review for the oven roast turkey breast. Top notch. Finally tried this out and it did not disappoint. The slices were a little small, but I was still able to get two sandwiches out of it. I haven't had sliced deli meats in forever as they are all fr uh, all trash. This one though ain't at all. I'm still more of a roast beef kind of gal, but heck, this turkey in a sandwich ain't bad at all if you know how to make one. LOL. Try it. You won't be disappointed. Price is very affordable for the quality hands on. Yeah, we might be out of turkey breast soon so enjoy it while you can five another five star oh no so this is a five star view for the local grass-fed ground beef best grass-fed beef i'll be coming back for it weekly if you have it yeah, i think it might be sold out because we didn't get a shipment in this week a uh, five star view for the beef testicles male virility increase in testosterone before I ate this miracle food, my testosterone levels were extremely low. Beta male levels. I discovered this food through my cousin who informed me of the power of testicles. Every lunch I eat one and I feel the testosterone rushing through my bloodstream and I get extreme sexual urges. <laughs> this leads me to edge all over the place. That's great, bro. That's fantastic. Five-star view for the grass-fed New York strip package. I'm totally impressed. The value and taste outstanding. Thanks. Yep. As I said, guys, most affordable price online, which is why, as the genius commented, I haven't turned a profit in five years of doing business. <laughs> uh, Five-star view for the grass-fed beef shank. Uh, Frankie boy, we're tired of winning. It's too much winning. I was worried these wouldn't be as good as the whole shank in the store I made, but I was wrong. Another certified banger. Uh, Five-star view for the pasture-raised Iberico pork sausage. We can't get enough of the breakfast sausages. These are the best tasting sausages I've ever eaten. I'm not a big breakfast person, but I have looked forward to these every single morning since trying them. No better way to start the day. Yeah, we're sold out of those, but we do have some plain Iberico sausage left. And then when we run out of those, maybe I'll do another batch. I'll see. Uh, Five-star view for the best bar. These are FrankieStrangeFoods.com. Delicious and great texture. Just tried the vanilla and better than I would have imagined. Soft but firm, great texture and flavor with sweet with a hint of salt for a good balance, so not overwhelming. Either way, and no weird aftertaste at all with minimal and clean ingredients. We'll be repurchasing for sure. If you guys want the best bar, there's a young girl selling it for twice the price. I heard she'll send you some hairy pictures too. I, hold on, I can't, probably can't say that. <laughs> Uh, Five-star view for pure ocean Australian sea salt. Great taste. Salt isn't too salty and has no ocean flavor. Yep, cleanest salt on the market. Another five-star view for the grass-fed New York strip package. Delicious grass-fed and grass finish is the best. As reasonable price as you will ever find. Thank you, Frankie. 
Five star view for the collagen bone broth beef stock. Best in the business. Great stuff. We'll order again. Yeah, we're. You guys haven't been buying as much of the collagen broth as you used to, but we still have the same quality stuff. Five star view for the Iberico ham, Hamon Iberico. Absolutely phenomenal product. This is the real deal. It makes me want to move to Spain or Italy, which is where it comes from. In this case, I believe Spain, great product, yeah, no. I wouldn't mind being in Spain, but I think like 90% of my cells are already made up of Iberico pork, so I'm surprised I don't have a girlfriend yet that just, want, just wants to smell me all day, you know? What's the deal? I bet you, maybe I need to go to Spain. Maybe they like guys that smell like 90% Iberico pork. Five-star review for the pemmican. Super filling. I just got home from work and immediately opened my package to eat this pemmican because I was hungry. And I must say that this bar is incredibly filling. I couldn't eat but half the bar and it completely restored my energy levels because it's so nutrient dense. The taste and consistency are hard to get used to at first, but it's really tasty, filling, and easy if you need something on the go or didn't bring lunch to work. I will definitely be buying more of this. You know what's funny? Someone emailed me saying um, that another company was making a better tasting pemmican and they weren't selling pemmican. They were selling like... They blended some meat with some fat and froze it in a tube. So it was, it was, it was perishable. So technically pemmican has to be non-perishable, which makes it very difficult to make, which is why we're like the only people online selling it affordably. Uh, well, we got a review for the potato chips, but we're sold out of potato chips. We might have some, ne we might have some this week or next week. Might also be doing some pastrami soon. I ordered ingredients for it like mustard, coriander, black pepper, got some brisket coming in. So I, I've been wanting to make pastrami for a few years now, actually. So I think that's going to be a, a product we're going to do. We'll see how it is. We'll see how it turns out. I just, you know, it's, it's a lot of work, guys. I'm doing so many different things and I'm not making that much money. So hopefully stick it out a little longer and things things turn out good. Um, so what what's the summary of this week? We made some Rice Krispie treats. We made the steak sauce now. Uh, just rest restocking meat. We're getting some meat shipments in Tuesday. We're gonna try to keep the keep everything in stock, basically. Um, but I don't think I don't think any any. I mean, oh, we always doing a few new products for you guys, but nothing nothing too crazy or too big happening soon. All right, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, maybe my brain will start working when I get home, when it doesn't matter anymore because I'm done filming. But uh, if you guys go to frank you'll see all of my interesting businesses where my goal is just to provide you guys with the healthiest, highest quality products uh, and, and to make it affordable. And again, you know, the more you guys support us, you know, we're the only company that hasn't really raised prices in the past few years. Um, and I'm the only person that also does price reductions. You know, <laughs> I, I will lower the price of a product based on demand or based on what I paid for it. So that, that's really the goal, guys. So as you continue to support us, hopefully, you know, I get, I get better situated in, um, in another year or two and we get better prices on everything. And uh, we can get you guys even higher quality stuff for even more affordable prices. So if you guys haven't, drop a like on the video. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Even if it's stupid and mean, maybe I'll get a chuckle out of it. And make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. So that you guys hear, so that you guys can hear me complain next week too. Uh, see you guys soon.